What is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of the women. So, welcome in everybody, as we are going to be streamcasting a first round match in the Welsh Championship. It's the first NAF sanctioned tournament on Blood Bowl 2. Big shout out to KFOG for getting uh, uh, getting this all put together. <coughs> getting the approval from NAF to allow this to happen. We ended up with 114 entries. It is a Swiss format. and uh, So everybody will play six rounds and each round the uh, the rankings will be updated based off of your record and your strength of schedule and the better records will be at the higher tables so table one will be the top table <coughs> and then all the way down uh, but in the first round everybody's randomly chosen so it doesn't really matter what table you're on this one happens to be on table 13 again it doesn't matter because it's all randomly chosen and then everything re-ranks after this round based off of how your record is and what you did in the first round so in this one we have Padster's Bretonians against Hellboy's Amazons. <coughs> Padster with his full 1260 roster, which is where you could get. The team build is building the team up to 1100, and then you got 48 SPPs to spend on skills. If you wanted to take a double skill, you had to have a regular skill before it. So at 6 SPP, you'd have to take a regular skill. Then you could get to 16 SPP to take your double. So that would be 16 of your 48 SPPs just to get that one double. There was no limitation to the amount of skills you could take. Uh, like you could take all guard if you wanted to. <coughs> you just couldn't go above 48 SPP. So for the Brits, the first roster we're looking at, he's got four Blitzers. All four are rookies, so he didn't put any skills on them. He's got four Blockers. Two guard, one tackle, one sure hands. That's interesting that he's making a blocker with Russell, his ball carrier. Normally you don't like having Russell on a ball carrier. Too easy to get the ball down. Uh, and then he's got four peasants. Three with Russell, one with block. So this is an interesting team build. I like the Russell on the line, the peasants. But I don't like giving up skills on the blitzers. Now the blitzers come with block, inherent, and dauntless, which is good. So you can get away with this build because you have that four, four block pieces there. <clears throat> but I think I'd much rather see this sure hands on one of these blitzers, especially since they're move seven and their block. Um, I don't like the ball carrier on the wrestle piece. So we'll see how that plays out for him. That's just my opinion, though. I don't like having a, a wrestle ball carrier. But I do like these. I don't know that I'd go block on this last lineman. I probably would have taken the sure hands here and put it on one of these guys, taken the block off here and just left him be a rookie and putting um, another guard here or a tackle, something like that. <coughs> uh, I don't necessarily like the block on the last lineman. I do like the three wrestle on the on the other peasants though. I think that's a I think that's an interesting way to go. It'll help keep those those peasants alive and the fend is nasty. Um, one fan factor, no coaches, no cheerleaders, no APO, three rerolls. So, sitting at 1260. Hellboy running Amazons, and he is running with Roxy, so he did induce a star player. 11 lady roster, three rookie linemen, two wrestle linemen, a block catcher, uh, a leader thrower. And then three guard blitzers and a mighty blow blitzer. I love the blitzers. That's absolutely what I would do. Three guard and one mighty blow. Might potentially do two guard and two mighty blow. Definitely would do at least one mighty blow and either two or three guard. Um, I like the sure hands on the or the. I like the leader on the thrower because it's a cheap way to get an extra reroll since he only went with one reroll build. If he had had two rerolls here, then I would have went sure hands instead of uh, leader. <coughs> Block on the catcher's nice. Helps her stay alive. Uh, two wrestle line women. Yeah, I could take it or leave it. Honestly, I probably would have left the two wrestle line women rookies, and I probably would have taken extra skills up here. <coughs> um, well, yeah, you could have taken one extra skill up here, I think, because that would have been that would have been six, twelve, which would have gave him an extra ten. So he could have put ten here and got a mighty blow guard, or gotten a tackle. A tackle guard on one of them 
or put tackle on the mighty blow here. Um, but the wrestle's not terrible. The wrestle's not bad at all. I just don't think I would have went that route. Only one reroll. He does have an apo. No coaches, no cheerleaders, no fan factor, and he has Roxy, which is going to be a huge thing. So, all right, let's go get this game fired up and see where they're at and what they're doing. <coughs> they should be done, hopefully, lining up on the line of scrimmage now and have the uh, the game going. <coughs> Yep, he's already going. <clears throat> oh, wow, we're in turn three. Okay, so we missed a couple turns. We'll catch up here and see what's going on. Oh, there's an injured line woman right when we come in. Big hit there. Instant APO. <clears throat> it's a crazy APO because it was dead to begin with, so he gets lucky to get the, ma the badly hurt back. I think I would have waited. Was that a wrestle line woman? If that was a rookie line woman, I definitely wouldn't have used it. It was a rookie. No, it was a wrestler. Okay. <clears throat> So I certainly understand why he did with it being the wrestler. But that's a risky APO to use because it is already dead. Fails the dodge out. <clears throat> uh, I don't think we can go back here. Actually, we can. So let's catch all the way up here from the very beginning. So it looks like... Okay, yeah. Looks like uh, the Amazon's kicked first. That's an interesting field arrangement, if that's how he actually went. Uh. <coughs> oh, that was just star. Okay. So they hadn't flipped the coin yet. Okay, so now they're going to line up. There we go. Amazon's. All right, here we go. So, this is the start of the uh, first turn here. <coughs> he had already done one hit here, didn't break anybody. Let's switch view so we can see this a little better. Did hit there, didn't get nothing. Gets the pal there. <coughs> so it looks like he picked the ball up with... No, he handed it off. So he picked it up here and immediately handed it off to this guy. Okay. Fair enough. <clears throat> Fair enough. Gonna try to get the open pal here. Does not get it. There's Roxanna, by the way. Move 8, Strength 3, Edge 5, Armor 7. She has Jump Up, Frenzy, Dodge, Leap, and Juggernaut. She is a very good star player. An excellent choice for Amazons. <clears throat> So it looks like he's just going to play the double double uh, screen off here. Try to slow him down. Take his one hit via Blitz here. With the Mighty Blow piece, most likely. <laughs> yeah, he's just screening all the way around here. <clears throat> blitz, and then he'll bring her back down here. He breaks. <laughs> Nothing but a stun. <laughs> Keeps Roxanna protected. Yep. Exactly what you would expect the Amazon defense to do right here. <clears throat> so turn two. Oh, he did not mean to do that. That was a mistake by the Brits. That gives the Amazons a chance to pounce. <clears throat> that had to be a misclick. That had to be a misclick. Interesting that she used... Oh, he's trying to surf. Nice, nice, okay. Yep, very good surf there. Very nicely done. 
So the mistake by the uh, Brits cost him a blitzer. <coughs> Crowd did not help out though, so just a blitzer off the pitch. Now protect Roxy, yep. Absolutely. <coughs> protect your sure hand or your leader. Very nicely done by the Amazons. <coughs> He moved that wrestle up one too many. He should have moved her down one. So this is where we came in, and we saw the uh, the takedown of the wrestle piece here. <coughs> yep, that's right where we came in. So we'll get caught up here in just a second. <coughs> Again, I would not have. Oh, never mind. It was a badly hurt to start, and then he did. He apo did into the dead. So yeah, that was a good apo then. I do like that apo. I missed that he rode the badly hurt first. So absolutely a very good Apo. <clears throat> Fails to dodge. That's all that. So now we're caught up to where we were when we came in, but we're still not caught up to the full match. <clears throat> Guessing we're gonna see a blitz on the fender, maybe? Or on the guard. Probably mighty blow on the guard. <coughs> yeah, on the guard. That way he can run the mighty blow back and keep her protected. Very nicely done. Oh, that's an injured guard lineman out. And no APO, so he's out. He won't be coming back this game. Very nicely done by the Amazons. Looking like the Amazons might have the upper hand here. Looking like the coach might be uh, playing a little bit better. So far, at least. <coughs> Hellboy is a good coach. Don't know a whole lot about Padster. So can't say much to his uh, coaching ability. I think his biggest biggest thing right now is the miss misclick is what I'm assuming on that dodge out by the lineman. <coughs> that cost him a full turn of getting hits in. Ooh, gets the open pal there. That's good. And a break. Just a stun, though. But he could foul a guard piece here. I don't think he does because he doesn't have a lineman free to, to foul. <coughs> Still not quite caught up here. Take down there. So Brett's dodged the hit that time, finally. <clears throat> We're almost caught up. Looks like he's going to get the tackle hit over here. <clears throat> going to reverse the field, it looks like. Gets the yellow. And a break. And a KO. <clears throat> so they're not uh, the Bretts aren't aren't missing on the removals. If they hit and take them down, they're getting them removed. That's two girls out now off the pitch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. <clears throat> and we got uh, two Bretts off the pitch, so nine on nine currently. Wow, he's hard, hard caging like crazy, isn't he? 
Amazons, I expect, will come back around here to guard off you. Yeah. Exactly what I expected. Blow. Does not get the yellow. <laughs> Probably comes back here or there. If he goes there, he could take a tackle hit with that guy. Oh, he stays right there. We could see a tackle hit on that mighty blow piece right now. I think that might be where I'd go. Guard right here and then tackle hit there and then run out. <coughs> You're blocked off for another turn, but you do get a chance to get the shot on her. Perfect, perfect defense by Hellboy here. This whole half's been really good defense. I'm just going to try and break through there. Really solidly played defense right here. <laughs> I don't know why he's... I would be marking these Amazons up and making them make dice rolls. I'm not sure why he's not marking them up. Like this guy here, I would have brought here and marked up and made, them, made him make dodges to get cleared out to do all this defense every turn. He just lay, basically played very, very not aggressive and let the Amazons just line up how they want to line up. <clears throat> and it's got him in a very precarious position right now. I don't think you can do this blitz first, but he's gonna. If he turns over here, he leaves the ball wide open. He does not turn over, though. Can he break the mighty blow? That's the question. He does, and a has gone. Oh, Mighty Blow's out. That's huge for the Brits. Ooh, that is huge for the Brits. Very, very big hit right there. <coughs> I think you got to push forward here. you got to bring your tackle in here. you got to bring a guy up in here. I, I don't think you can sit back like this. I think you got to push forward a little bit more. You really put yourself in a bind here for the next two turns now. He still does have two turns, though, so. <coughs> huge, huge hit on the Mighty Blow piece right there. I think we're all caught up now. Yep. <coughs> now he could get he could get a hit on the uh, ball carrier here. You bring your guard piece in. No, you can't bring him in there. Never mind. That guy there stops that. <coughs> Gets a take down there. No break. He could still potentially... If he gets the... If he gets the hit here, push him there. Then he could hit, push out here. Boom. He chooses to go that route instead. He could still... 
He can still push, though. He can chain push here, 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 here. <coughs> and get the wrestle hit in with guard. <coughs> he could get two dice here. Uh, no, it'd be one die because of that. <coughs> He'd have to get the yellow here. Push him, push him, push him. Not follow, leave that open. Then he could come in with the wrestle here, but it'd be a one die because he'd have guard here, but this would be the negative here. <clears throat> he could bring here. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, he does the one die. Why would you not do the two die there? You could get two dice on it. Okay, so he's going to go that route instead. Be a one die up there, too. <clears throat> and it pushes him back a square. Make it a little bit harder for him to score. And we're completely caught up, too, by the way. Yeah, do the one die here. Skull, he'll re-roll it. Oh, skull, skull. Bad luck for the Zons right there. <coughs> Bad luck for the Zons right there. All you need to do is dodge those skulls. Now, how does the Bretts handle this? <coughs> marking up like he sh should have been doing the whole half, I think. I think he should have been marking up a lot earlier. But... <coughs> Could see a hit on Roxy here, potentially. To free up. I'm not sure I understand that blitz. And he doesn't get the yellow either, which is really bad. You could have freed out through here easily. <coughs> Just really not sure I understand the blitz on the rookie line woman. Does you nothing. Really does you no good at all. You could have cleared this whole space right here out. Easy hit here. You wrestle her down if you don't get the pal. Come in. Then you can blitz here to get her out of the way. And then you can get up and move into here. You keep these odds from being able to keep get in front of you to, to shield off again. <coughs> Just not 100% sure I understand why he did it that way. He gets the pal, that's good. Unless, well, he pushed the wrong way if he's going to do what I was potentially thinking here. <coughs> potentially thinking he might hand it off to this blitzer and run out this way, but he got himself in the way there if that's what he's going to do. What's up, Lean? How you doing, man? That kind of ruins that right there, anyway. <coughs> he needed to get the power of the both or the uh, both down to use the wrestle. So what is he going to do now? This is going to be interesting. <coughs> bring this, bring this guard here into here, so you can get two dice there. Bring him up and mark here, and then bring him in. But he's he's really got himself in a bind here. I guess he could. Uh, I just, yeah, I don't know what he does here. Really got himself in a bad spot right here. <coughs> and he had the advantage, too. All he had to do was clear this area and blitz through here. And he could have brought two or three guys down here to mark off. He messed up and only had the one die there where he could have had two die on her. Wow, I just I, I don't I don't get what he's doing here. I wish I was in his mind right now to know what he was 
what he was planning, what his thoughts were there. Can't score from there. He's too short. He's the only one that can score. <coughs> and he can't score as soon as he frenzies her. I just, I, I don't know what he's thinking there. I don't know what he's going to do. All the Amazon's got to do is push this guy and he can't score. <coughs> He can't make it. He's the only one that can make it. All you gotta do is get him down. <coughs> and the Amazon sees it. Frenzy here, so... <coughs> and that's good enough. So good job of defense by the Zons. Zons could try to go for a score here. They could absolutely try to get a score. Bring her down. <coughs> stand her up. Stand her up. If you mark these guys off. Yep. Absolutely. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two go for it. She can score. <coughs> That's and he failed the loner. Oh. Oof, and KO there. Damn. <coughs> he was going for the broke going for broke there. I would have stood this girl off at least. To keep him from being able to move up and mark her. But he's had two one die hits and both times rolled a skull, re rolled the first time re rolled into another skull, that re roll failed the loner. A two on the loner. Have not been the Zons have not been lucky on their one die hits. <coughs> now he can push his guy back into range. <coughs> yep. He messed up there by getting greedy for the ball that turn. He should have waited till turn eight to go for the ball. He should have made sure he couldn't chain this guy back into range. Makes you hit yourself. <laughs> yeah. So now, <clears throat> and because he didn't stand him up, he can move around and reposition. <clears throat> so now the Brits can actually score again. <clears throat> can hit here, push, push her out. <clears throat> oh, we hit. Okay, never mind. Yeah, he hit there, so yeah. Wow. The Amazons totally misplayed that. He did not see the chain push at all, I guarantee it. Guarantee he did not see the chain push there. <coughs> now you gotta get some takedowns here. <coughs> You gotta do at least one before you do this thing. <coughs> this handoff. He does still have two rerolls. Now you can do it with just one go for it. Four, five, six. <coughs> wow, doing a one die blitz? With the go for it. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? He totally screwed that up. Oh my goodness. Just move him over and get the assist and do the two die with the wrestle. Even if you have to use both down to wrestle down. You get two die here with the assist there. With tackle. 
Why would you do that? Oh my god, the Brits had it lined up perfect. He totally misplayed that. <clears throat> I, I don't know what he was thinking there. I guess he was gonna he was gonna push here, push her here, and then follow in and get the tackle hit to push her off. But he didn't need to. All he had to do was get his guard piece here. He has two dice with the wrestler. As long as he gets a pow or both down, he's good. And then he's got the assist here, so he does two die with tackle here. <clears throat> and even if you don't get the her down, it's still just a two. It's still just a handoff, which is four plus. You got catch, and then a, a three plus um, dodge. Wow, I just I I don't get that at all. <clears throat> I just do not get that at all. That was such a unnecessary play to try to do it that way. With a, and it's such a risky play. I mean, it's only a two plus on the go for it, but you've seen what happened. He rolled the one. He won and thirty six it. <clears throat> so, what's he gonna do here? Right, he's gonna fail to, double fail the dodge is what he's gonna do. And KO himself. Ugh. <clears throat> wow, the the first six turns were played really well, and then these last two turns, I just I, I don't understand what either coach was doing. Some very questionable plays, in my opinion. I just did not get half of what they were doing. The Amazons, I think, got too aggressive on turn seven, trying to get the ball out then. They should have waited till turn eight and not allowed him, the Bretts, to have the chance to chain push. The Bretts had the perfect chain push out and just chose to go with a one die hit when they didn't need to. They didn't understand that. And then wasn't quite sure what the Amazons was trying to line up there. Some kind of chain, chain hit, I think. <coughs> but... Anyway, we end first half in a 0-0 draw. The Bretts are down one guard wrestler, or uh, uh, blocker. And that will put him at 11, because he had a 12-man roster. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yep. The Zons are down their Mighty Blow Blitzer. And Roxana stayed out. So they are down to 10, I believe. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yep. And they're missing their Mighty Blow, their, their big hitter. <clears throat> the Brits still have their tackle piece in, which is good. That'll be big for this half. And they have a one-man advantage. Good ball carrier rip into minus move. Are you playing a match right now, K Fog? Are you talking about a match you're playing? <laughs> uh, I'm going to run to the restroom real quick, guys. I'll be right back. I hear the Brits moving around. They must have got a blitz. Did we get a blitz? Yep. I knew as soon as I heard the Brits moving, it had to be a blitz. That's huge. 
Uh, so tackle hit there. Gets the takedown. Where's the ball at? I didn't see. Where's the ball going to land? The hell is the ball going off? Oh, it's way the hell back there. Holy shit. <coughs> well, the Bretts can certainly make this interesting for the uh, Zons. Do he, does he do some go-forts here? Nope. I'd be marking every one of these pieces up. No way I would not let these pieces run free without making some dodges. <clears throat> so the Brett's definitely playing a lot different than what I would play. I would make these Zons dodge like crazy right now. Make those dodges. Nice kick. <clears throat> Way back to the end of the end zone. One, two, three, four. Movement just to get there. <coughs> so now the Zons are just going to shield off this way here with these three pieces. <coughs> See the blitz there with the wrestler. Yep. I, I, uh, I don't know, man. I don't understand why this Brett coach is so scared to, to mark these Zons. The Mighty Bull's gone. Trust in your armor. You basically just let the Zons recover this ball and get into a decent position. <clears throat> and they're only going to have to make a minimal amount of rolls to get it. And they're all pretty safe rolls. <clears throat> Pick the ball up first. Well, you don't really have to worry about that. He can't get to the ball yet, so if you do turn over here, it's not that terrible of a thing. <coughs> I would have made the Zons make 20 rolls right there to, to get any of that done. There's no way I would have let, her just, let him just move all these girls around like that. Absolutely no way. Dodge out here over here. Yep. <coughs> Now you let the Zons dictate how her offense is going to go. You could have forced them into the offense you wanted them to be in. <coughs> Running to recover. Making rolls to try to get back into a good shape. Instead, you just let them get into the position they want to get in without making any hardly any rolls at all. Just don't understand it. I'm going to blitz there to clear it open. So now at this point, you got to run guys through here to form a wall in between them and your line. And then keep these guys like you have them here with a line out here. <coughs> I'd be moving three or four guys through here to form a line in here if I could. Why else clear that out? Try to try to get these guys away from the rest of these guys. I, uh, what? I, I don't get it. I do not get it. I guess he's content playing for the slow half and hoping for the uh, the mistake, potential mistake, where you can get the ball out to try to win or just going for the 0-0 draw. Not sure I don't like being aggressive there while you had that ball carrier way back here by, the, by herself, basically. Only one other's on with her. there. 
a seal. And the break. And a KO, that's nice. Gets the numbers evened up. <coughs> And then the dodge out here. Yep. <clears throat> Why is he so afraid to mark? <laughs> Flits here, maybe? One, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six. Nah, let's go for it. <coughs> Interesting choice. Oof, dub skulls. There goes a the reroll. Ooh, quad skulls. Nice. That fucking hurts. <laughs> oh, man. That was a bad time for that. <clears throat> of course, when is there ever a good time for that, right? Zons can absolutely take advantage here. They can break through right there. Yep. <clears throat> that was big time right there. They can break through. Cage up right in here. Can even get the hit to take hidden down. If they get a couple yellows here, they're golden. There's number one. And a break. <clears throat> Bring her here. Don't just leave her there. Finish moving with her. Bring her here. We're over to there, even. There's better, though. Mm. We'll bring her out here. There you go. Bring this guard in. <clears throat> or this guard here. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. This guard here goes right there. <clears throat> yeah, the Zons are golden right here. I would have moved her up into here. him there. Yep. <coughs> then you can bring this guard up here and get in the way. Yep. Could do the one die on the tackle if you want. Yep. Yep. Rustle him down. Perfectly done. Amazon's got complete control of this now. They should have never been able to get control of the pitch like this after the way that kickoff and that blitz happened. Should have never gotten this good of control of the pitch. <clears throat> I think the Bretts played way too uh, soft there. Way, way too not aggressive. Should have played a lot more aggressive than what they did. 
I don't like the way they're the style of defense they're playing. The Amazons, this is a perfect style of defense. Elves, good style. Brits, not a very good style of defense. The Brits need to be marking and hitting. <coughs> Gets the pal there. That's nice. That'll help. <laughs> there in the break. Just a stun. <clears throat> Thinking he's probably going to blitz with the. Well. He could get the blitz with the tackle on the ball carrier here, actually. Could bring a guy up for the assist here, get two die there, and then come in with one die here. He could get a hit on the ball. Let's see if he sees it. That does him no good. I don't know that he sees it, to be honest. <laughs> Okay, and he gets the pal. Wow. Block dice are, are bailing him out here. <laughs> Block dice are bailing him out. He didn't want to do the go for it with the blitz for the tackle piece. I think it would have been well worth it, but. You don't follow here and then you move the tackle piece in to mark him up at least. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. This is what he should have been doing the whole time was marking up like this. I think this is what he should have been doing the whole time. Alright, so what are the Amazons going to do here? <coughs> Free up the corner there, the edge. So we can push through there. Not a bad thought. Tackle pushed off the ball. That's good. That's the first thing you had to do. Now you can move everybody out. <clears throat> Probably dodge this girl out to come around the edge here. Keep him from getting over there. Ooh, oh, double fails to dodge. That's not good. That gives the Bretts a chance. He can make a couple rolls here. <clears throat> Big rolls to make.
Wait a minute, I'm on the wrong view. This is the view I should be on with the Brits. There we go. No, I was on the right view. I was on the right view. This is the Brits view. <coughs> <laughs> Not sure what that does for you. Gives you a potential two dice, I guess. Takes the assist away on this girl. If you dodge out, come around for the assist here, and then bring him down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or you bring him down for the assist and then dodge what's there. gonna do the straight up one die wow oh and he gets the pal <laughs> jesus <coughs> amazon had complete control of this pitch and the brits just rely on dice and get them oh and an injury wow i'd be really pissed right now if i was hellboy with the way these dice are going i think he can I, I think he outplayed the brits this half and just is getting dice right now Brett's are just rolling dice and, and hoping to get what they need, and they're getting it. Another pal. <laughs> another break. Another KO. Zons are leaving the pitch fast now. They are in trouble. They have got to get the ball and score now if they want to have any kind of a chance here. Another pow. Oh, another dub skull into a pow, though. So that's three dub skulls this half, and now the uh, <coughs> the Bretts are out of rerolls. I don't know that I would have used that reroll there. That was your last reroll. Is it worth using that reroll right there? I really don't think it was. <coughs> So the Zons are almost out of chances here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only eight Zons left on the pitch. <coughs> and it looks like they're going to have to do some, um, a little bit of risky rolls here too. Yep, there's the first one. <coughs> To get the one die and he at least gets the push one two three four five six seven eight you got to score right here you got to go for it <coughs> I'd stand her up at least <coughs> Double fails to dodge again. Yikes. And breaks himself. Oof. Wow. Amazon's just no luck this half. No luck this half at all.
<clears throat> he had a chance. Makes the dodge and gets the pickup. He can score with two go for it. Now the Brett's got to hurry up here. They only got four turns to score back. <clears throat> him not standing this girl up now leaves him wide open though. So. Block she doesn't. Gets the break, so a stun there. <clears throat> I think he's gonna surf here. I think he's gonna yeah hit her, push her in here. <clears throat> Follow. I think he blitzes here. Brings him in here to surf there. He's still free to to score. <laughs> Oh, he didn't... Uh, why wouldn't you blitz there? You could have safely surfed and not worried about getting surfed back. Wow. I think that's a missed opportunity right there. That is a missed opportunity right there. I, I'm betting he meant to blitz there and just forgot to declare it. <laughs> That's what I'm betting. Can't follow here. Because then that puts you in a position to get surfed. Oof. That's not good. Well, the Zons aren't out yet. If they can make a dodge here, that's the right play there. At least mark him up. Stand him up. Or her. <clears throat> they can make a dodge here. They can surf here. Do the one die there. And then try to pick it up. out a little bit so we got two removals right there that's big what's up doctor obsidian <clears throat> this game's gonna end in a zero zero draw I bet this game I think is gonna end in a zero zero draw Man, his dodging has been horrendous. <clears throat> he has not had very good dodging at all. So, here's the problem. Well, he's going to have to score with him, I think. Because <clears throat> you can get her down. You can blitz her and then pick the ball up. It almost blitz with him. <clears throat> Not sure why you hit with the blitzer there. Really don't understand that play. Oh, he wants to pick up with her. Or with this guy, I guess. With the sure hands. 
Yeah. Locked your way to get in and pick it up with your ball carrier. What the heck are you doing, dude? If you're going to do anything, move that guard piece right here if you want that guard on the ball. And then that marks these guys up, too. I don't understand that play right there at all. That guard piece right here should be right here. You blitz here. <clears throat> Instead, he does the one die blitz there. What in the world are you doing? And then you push the wrong way. Push him away from this end zone. Don't push him towards it. Because now he, she just comes and marks you again. What? Wait a minute. What are you doing? Who are you going to score with, dude? He's not worried about scoring. He's just trying to make sure that it ends in a 0-0 draw. Wow. He is absolutely not worried about scoring at all. Okay. Okay. So he did a four plus dodge into a four plus pickup. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> I did not see that coming at all. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> uh, okay. And he almost made it. He made the dodge. Six on the dodge. And then a 3-1 on the pickup. <clears throat> so you blitz here. Pick the ball up here and run. <laughs> oh, I can't get the yellow, though. Jesus. Still fine as long as you can make a dodge. <clears throat> Unfortunately, he can't score. He can get within two, I think. Here we go. Makes the dodge, makes the pickup. Gotta do the go for it. I would. Oh, he fails the first go for it. Jeez, Louise. I don't do another one now. You can't. <clears throat> do your hit here, I guess. Why would you do that dodge out with the tackle on you? I mean, it's only a 3+, plus, but still. I do the hit over here first. Well, the tackle can't get to him unless he makes some crazy dodges. I think the Zons might have uh, saved themselves here. himself. Oh my god. What a shit show of a half. <laughs> For both teams, really. <laughs> I Honestly, I think the Brits played the defense all wrong this half, and they let the Amazons get back in control of the pitch when they shouldn't have. The Amazons diced would not, would not allow them to fully take control when they had the opportunity. 
Oh, is he, I didn't say, is he going to double fail at the end? Oh, wow. But the Amazons end up pulling it out anyway and getting the score. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's it's going to be a... Assuming it ends the way it does. In my opinion, I think that's a well-deserved win for Hellboy. He deserved that. I think he played really good defense the first half. Uh, his turn seven blitz, I think, was a little questionable. I would have n wouldn't have done it the way he did it, but I understand why he did what he did. Um, and then I'm not quite sure what he was trying to do on turn eight when he had the chance to potentially score. But uh, but overall, I thought his defense was really solid in the first half. And then I thought he had the right ideas here in the second half. He was able to get back and control the pitch. He pushed up like I thought he should have. He opened the gaps up that he needed to open up the push. He just couldn't get the dice he needed. The dodges were failing him. I thought the Bretts missed some opportunities in the first half on offense where they could have done things better. I think they relied way too much on dice. Um, I think he should have been marking the Amazons a lot more in the second half, making the Amazons make more rolls. You've seen what happened when he... When he did make the Amazons make rolls, the Amazons failed miserably. Look at all the dodges the Amazons failed. If he would have marked everybody, every line woman on the line of scrimmage on that blitz on turn 9, this could have been an absolutely completely different half. I mean, it could have been completely different. So I definitely think that the Bretts misplayed. I think they could have played a lot better than what they did on defense. They, they gave the Amazons every opportunity to score, and the Amazons were finally able to take advantage of that and make it work. So it looks like the Zons are starting with 10. Amazons are on with 10. I don't think there's any chance for one turn here. Got to hope for a rollback clock. Going to set up for that. <coughs> Casualties don't matter. This is resurrection. Everybody comes back. No SPPs are gained. No injury sticks. So everybody comes back to exactly how it was at the start of this match. It'll be the same at the start of the next match in round two. So you don't care about doing hits here for casualties. It doesn't mean anything. The only thing you're doing is lining up in the, in the hopeful case that you get a quick snap. Or not a quick snap, a, a rollback clock. perfect defense. So this game's over. Amazons are going to win this. There's no sense in doing anything else. Doesn't matter. You can just hit in turn. Doesn't really matter. Nothing ha nothing. Nothing can happen. The Bretts are going to do their hits and stuff, but they really don't need to. It's all pointless. Uh, actually, I don't know what the tiebreakers are, Detox. That's a good point. I'd have to check and see what the tiebreakers are. Kaz could be tiebreakers. You are right. Uh, K-Fog, are you still on? He's not still on. I'll have to pull up the rules. I don't remember off the top of my head. Ooh, Elves beat Dark Elves in another round one match. Uh, D. Da Piranha beat Bruce Leak. Leet. Bruce Leet. Elves over Wood Elves. Uh, Obsidian won over Avenus Coulter. Chaos Dwarves beat, uh, whatever he's playing. I don't know what that is. <coughs> no takedown there. Um,. Freyan and Jomanji tied. That is Dark Elves and Undead. So some more matches done. 
Yeah, it usually does. You're right. So I'm going to find here. Level 2. Um, casting teams news. Is there rules in here? <coughs> no, nothing in there for new rules. Guides? Uh... All right, so that's that. Good win for the Amazons there. Like I said, I, I feel like that's a deserved win for the Amazons. I feel like they deserve that win. I think they played better in this match. And uh, the dice weren't necessarily always with them, but they were with them at the moment when they needed to be at the end. Let's see, is there rules in here? Um, rules pack, there we go. <coughs> Let's see what the rules pack says. Uh, Let's take part, blah, blah, blah. Questions, rules pack. Resurrection, no overtime, draw as a draw. Star players allowed, blah, 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 blah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Tournament scoring. <coughs> Tiebreaker. Head-to-head -head result will be used in the event of a tiebreaker situation, followed by the toughness of schedule and touchdowns difference. So, no. No Kaz on the tiebreaker. So, yeah, nothing ha nothing mattered there. All those hits were pointless. There was no reason for them. All right, so that's going to be it for that, for the recording. Everybody that got on and watched, thanks for getting on and watching. This round one match in the NAF Welsh Championship, the uh, first NAF sanctioned tournament in Blood Bowl 2. Um, it was a good match. It was uh, some lots of uh, shit show stuff happening in the second half. Failures all over the place for both coaches. Um, but it was a good match. And uh, congrats to both coaches. Congrats to Hellboy for the win. And uh, we will be back with another stream cast the next time we can. We'll. When we have open time, we'll go into the scheduling and we'll see what's coming up and we'll try to pick a match that we can uh, that we can streamcast. Uh, we will definitely be casting our match, which will be Tuesday afternoon, uh, at uh, 1700 UTC. So uh, we'll definitely be back on for that as we'll be casting that match. Until then, have a good one, everybody. Thanks for getting on and watching. And we'll catch you on the next one. Hello there, do I see my father? Hello there, do I see my mother, mother and my sisters and, and my, my brothers? brothers. Hello there, do I see the line of my, my people mother. back to the beginning? No, they do call to me. They bid me take my place among them. In the halls of Valhalla, with the grave, they lived.